Guys, welcome back to the vlog and welcome back to the channel. It's a bittersweet day for us today. It's the first day back from the new year, but for some reason, I always get sick on New Year's Eve. I don't know why. It's like five years in a row. Um, I'm back at the office. I think it's like January, like third or fourth. I don't even know what day it is today, but um, I'm gonna take you guys along the ride for me to get like a little bit of a, I guess you can call it a cocktail from the morning. So follow me. Today is like my whole body hurts, everything hurts, and especially my back. I was actually in a really bad car accident about, I don't know, five or six years ago, and it broke a disc in my, or I don't know how you call it broke, but I don't have a disc in my L5 anymore. I was coughing so much. I swear my muscles around that disc or whatever, that, that problem, like made it 10 times worse and I can barely move. But that's not the reason why I'm sick. The reason why I'm sick is just because like, People get sick all the time, you know, the flu season, right? Well, you see at Royalty over here, they've got the car rentals. But around the corner, we've got a cool place called Push IV. And uh, it's like, um, it's a wellness clinic. Inside this wellness clinic, there's a place called Hangover Recovery. Now, I don't have a hangover, but being sick and hungover is very similar. So, uh, good and bad part about this is it, it gets to you really quick, but you legitimately have to get like an IV. So, you know, if you don't like needles, close your eyes. Right now, I guess? Would this be a graphic content? One, one? two, <laughs> three, maybe. So Zofran, um, when you're feeling nauseous, it, within about 15 to 20 minutes after getting this, your nausea is pretty much gone, if not completely gone. So it is a wonder drug. So, and everything in the IVs are vitamins, except for the Zofran. And next is Toradol. Toradol is like a super strength ibuprofen to help with the headache that you get. That's most get with hangovers. And if you're sick, it's and the same thing. Exactly. Because you get like sinus pressure oh, yeah. or something. Yeah. You know? Do you like feel it going in? Oh yeah, it yeah. feels so good. It's really cold. It's so cold. Yep. It's like awesome. In the uh, winter time, um, like last year, uh, th this uh, the hangover recovery team actually goes to your house or your hotel room. So if you don't really feel like coming down here, you just call them and they send you over. So there was a guy that used to always go to my house and in the winter time, his stuff would be so cold yeah. sitting in the back of his car. It was literally like putting ice in your veins. And I used to tell him, I was like, dude, you gotta bring a heating pad. Yeah. Like it was freezing. So uh, summertime doesn't blanket. hurt, but uh, yeah, a blanket or something to warm it up. Okay, so some facts that I just learned. That it's bag right there through, it's gonna be UPS, but, is like uh, drinking a gallon and a half of water. So when you're sick, water is what you need. But I mean, for me to drink a gallon and a half of water, physically impossible right now. I could barely drink a sip of water to take the medicine that I got this morning because I got some antibiotics. And um, well, that is so much easier because it just goes right in here. And my headache essentially is not gone yet, but I can definitely feel some improvement. It's only been like three minutes. Oh, I gotta take this. Be right back.
What, uh, what's the move? What's the move? Um, okay. Well, Jesse's burgered out. So there's no better place to go than Shake Shack. So as you guys saw, we did the 4x4 four four challenge. We're not doing any more challenges. <laughs> okay, let me just get comfortable. McLaren has some funny buttons on their seats. It's gonna take me a second. Okay. Let's get some track, track, activate. Fuck it. Fuck, oh, just kidding. <laughs> Huracan's not comfortable at all. You know when you're really smooth. And Ari's like, and Aventador is the same way. That's how, when I'm driving a manual, it's like. <laughs> and when I was shifting, I left myself the gas pedal every time. Oh, man. All right, so 570 or Huracan? Huracan. Can you take me to 570? 570 or Huracan? Huracan all day. I'd say what you prefer. Huracan? Oh, I thought you said what's on a race. No, no, what you prefer. Um, you know, man, it's a bad question to ask you right now. Normally, I would definitely say 570 because I like the doors that go up and I like the value of this car being about 100,000 less than that car. But this car just doesn't work that well. I How mean, much can you buy a 570 for? Honestly, like real deal, like if, if you really want to get a 570, I can pick them up in the 130 range right now with decent Hold miles, on. like 5,000 miles. Mario, wow. at 130, 140 for 570, right? Just think about it, you're going to spend like another 40,000. I got a hamburger, all right? I got a chicken sandwich. Hey. And I got fries. Wait, that's my fries. And I got a shake. You got cheese on Sorry. Yours. No, Mario got cheese. No, you didn't I even get fries. Yeah, I did. Only one fries. That's my fries. I got fries too. Why would I not get fries? Okay, we're gonna, you're not going to finish it until you get two of those. We're going to share. Okay. All right? Oh, he's got a thick malt shake. Yeah, bring the secret sauce out. Yeah. <laughs> Is that allowed? Why do you forbid it? That's so disrespectful. So disrespectful. Is it disrespectful? No, I don't think so. Is it? Ketchup comes from somewhere else, okay? Oh, you get out sauce on your Shake Shack burger. Life hacks. Life hacks. Jesse, what do you have? I got a chicken sandwich, because I'm kind of all burgered off from our in and out battle. So, chicken sandwich, where is that? Very nice, very nice. I legitimately fixed the Shack burger because Shack sauce, I believe, is made with a mustard base. It's pretty gross. Guys, if you're ever here, try this drink. It's the blood, blood orange ginger. Blood orange ginger lemonade. Lemonade, that's bomb. Oh, 
No one's ever really done McLaren donuts before. The Mac donuts. <laughs> Can I try Do baby Mac donuts. He said, I try it. <laughs> no one. We don't have any more tires. No, I'm getting these tires anyway. <laughs> Are you done? Yeah. Okay. I'll get don't fucking tire. hit that curb. Yeah, you almost hit you it like four times. I was a far I'm enough. First of all, I have good depth perception. Okay, okay. Can I, do I that? know where the curb was. I just you're small and your your eyes are like this. Yeah, they you are. Might not see it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like yes, it was like, pretty easy, huh? It's just like this is my my natural instinct. Ah! Uh, uh, just go go closer over where I in the middle. <laughs> I think we have a winner today. Well, like I said, he's gonna do it better because he's planned it. I think we have a winner today. That does not constitute that Jesse does better donuts than me, all right? First of all, I did him over there close to the curb and I inched him out. And second, like I said, Jesse planned it, you know?